I'm gonna just hover right over it. It's right straight off of this board right here. Right in line, right in line with this, John. I cannot believe that just happened. I was not ready. Insane. Just got out here fishing. I'm throwing the spook and like third cast, we're just talking. And I just have, I think a big redfish nailed it and I just dropped my GoPro. I knocked it into the water off my camera boom. Yep, redfish, dude. Look at that. Well, I just lost a GoPro, but I caught a redfish. That's a keeper too, man. I could keep that thing, but I don't have a stringer. On the spook, first five minutes out here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot believe that just happened. He wasn't ready. <laughs> like what the? I've never been so upset about catching a fish. Dude, on top water too, he exploded on it. I thought he was a lot bigger. Look at that, not as big as I thought. He was pulling so hard. Just exploded on the spook, ran my rod into my GoPro, which just flew right off the boom. I need to go over there and try to find it. Oh man, I'm sick about that, but there's a fish. I haven't even filmed an intro or anything. We literally just got out here. We've been waiting out storms all day, but I'm gonna let this guy go to go try to find my GoPro. Pew. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> I told you, Spook's my new go-to for shallow reds, dude. Was it not locked in, I guess? Huh? I guess it wasn't locked in, and I'm normally so good about checking that, but dodging these storms. And that's like my one good GoPro. All my other ones have issues. It was like right off of that straight, if you intersect that board laying in the rocks and that floaty thing. I feel like it would be darker than these dark spots, you know? Like it's it's jet black. It should be like a really distinct, unless it's half buried with sand, in which case we're just I feel like it would be. I thought this place had clean water. What is this? It's like the haze, it was better there for a second, now it's not. All right, let's just keep, let's just go fish. It's all right. I just wanted to come look. I looked. We are now all wading around, shuffling our feet, trying not to get stunned by a stingray or bit by a shark and trying to find this GoPro. I don't think it's gonna happen, but it's been a $400 morning now. We've been dodging lightning storms, waiting in the truck, waiting them out. We got a little window came out here and three casts in the day, caught the first redfish on top water. So good sign until my GoPro hit the water. But we're gonna make the best of it. Everyone's tying on a spook right now. We're about to go catch some fish, I got a feeling. And this GoPro's fogging up. It's great, that's great. I was doing the spook like that, 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 that. I didn't pause at all. Well, what's up guys? Welcome back to Field Trips and welcome back to Pensacola, Florida. If you caught last episode, we were offshore catching redfish. No, we weren't. Catching red snapper, kingfish, mangrove snapper. Our plan for the second half of this, this little trip here with Feral Stackhouse and Charles Breon was to go out for tarpon off the beach. The conditions have not been in our favor. Now today it's been off and on, storming, windy. We've been, we came here, got all the kayaks down, then had to hide in the truck from a thunderstorm. We got a break in the weather. It's nice out here, we just launched. And I was thinking, this probably isn't even gonna end up being an episode. I might not even bother filming just cause the weather is so bad. And then of course, third cast in the day with this spook, this top water, I caught a redfish. Just cost me a $400 GoPro, but I did catch a redfish. So, you know, we're feeling good and feeling bad at the same time, but the fish are biting. Charles let me borrow a GoPro, so we're bagging business. And now it's feeling like maybe we're gonna film an episode today. The fish are chewing. So we're gonna see what happens. But we're out here in the bay inshore instead of offshore like our plan was, like we've been the last two days, and we are looking for redfish, and we've already found one, and it hit top water. We're kinda, it's not even pre-front, it's like mid-front. We got fronts behind us, fronts in front of us, the radar is showing storms coming through all day. I just got, I just got, I just got bit. You just got bit? Yeah, there, he is. there he is. Oh, that's a lady. Oh, ladyfish. <laughs> you got hit too? Yeah. 
All right, fish seem fired up, you guys. So we're gonna make the best of this so my GoPro did not lose its life in vain. It's sitting down three feet of water. We just Stingray shuffled around for, for a while. Did not find it. So whatever, we're just gonna roll with the punches, keep going, see if we can't find some fish. And maybe take a few home. I don't know the limit for reds here in Florida, do you? It changes. We need to look. But we're all throwing top water now and, and fish are, are biting, which is always a good time. It might, it might be in for a pretty fun day here. That red hit pretty close to those rocks, guys. I'd, I'd get in a little closer. It's probably gonna be more trout and ladyfish out here. Oh yeah, something just smacked at it when I paused it. Wow. your radio <laughs> idiot I was marking the spot <laughs> but I could see the bottom man I thought I mean my heart skipped you know I thought that was it you're welcome <laughs> Thanks, buddy. the only reason I saw your radio is because it's the light was on. This thing doesn't float. What a piece of shit. But see now here there's like other dark spots on the bottom. Like all up in there it was like perfectly the same color brown. You don't have to, man, you can go fish, bro. Nah, I, 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 it's really not. It's okay. I'll look and I mean if I don't find it, I don't find it. I just, the sun came out and I was like before I get too far I might as well go look. Well, I'm glad it came back. Found your radio. Get that what are the odds found the GoPro and uh, I mean we just we gave up they were helping they just took off said you know, I said forget it don't worry about it but I lingered just a little bit longer and we kind of lost the Sun and it was hard to see and I just caught a glimpse of a little bit of dark with a little bit of light and that light was reflecting off the lens Whew, that feels good it's gonna be a good day fish are biting and I didn't lose a $400 camera Oh man, that's awesome. God, something should smash this right now. What I say? What I say? Just said something should smash this. And something just exploded on it. Where that bait keeps flicking up. Something good, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, I think it's a, it kind of feels like a jack. I don't know. Man, we were seeing bait flicking out. Charles called it out and I came over here and looked and pretty big baits kind of looking real nervous on the surface through the spook. It's flat, calm, overcast, kind of ideal spook conditions. And something just exploded on it. God, it's pretty good size, dude. I think it's a red. Bro, something good on the spook, man. Tie it on. Oh, it's gotta be a redfish. No way. It's a huge gaff top. The gaff tops are crushing top water. It's so big and there's another one behind it. Look at it pull and drag. This is a heavy setup. 
big old gaff top. On the spook, that's a first for sure. Uh, these guys are never fun to handle. It's got trebles, it's got sharp spines. New PB gaff top, for sure. Look at that thing. All right, get the hooks out of this guy first. There it is. Gaff top or sail cat. Depends on where you live, what they call them. This is a type of saltwater catfish. And I mean, puts up a fight. I've definitely never had them hit top water. Usually they're hitting cut bait on the bottom. Look at that guy. See what they call them, sail cat. They got kind of like a sail. These little things that come off, long whiskers. But these, each of their fins here, two pectorals and the dorsal have very sharp spines. And if they get you, they actually got a mild venom. And for about 45 minutes to an hour, it's excruciating. So you gotta kind of know how to hold them. This is how I hold them, where I'm securing this barb, this barb, and the top one's away from my hand. So that's how I like to hold them and just get a good grip. And then when you flick them, be quick. Did not expect that hooked up. Stack house is on. Oh, these things are so slimy. That looks like a red. Nice spec. Sick. Nice, feral on. We're just working these, you know, going dock to dock right now, throwing this spook. Oh, dude, just flip it. <laughs> Your PB? Heck yeah, dude. I got a measuring board. Let's find out. Nice work, man. Oh, dude, that's a stud. That's what I said. Yeah, I like, that's it's a, a good stud. stud. Nice work. Barrel with a nice speck on top water, man. Every fish we've caught so far has been on top water, huh? Yep. Catfish. Charles is on another gaff top. <sighs> That's not what I wanted to do. Was that on that shrimp? No, it was on the top water. What do you say, Graham? By the belly underneath? I yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. Just, just leave it in the water. If it comes up, it comes up. It's exciting anyway. Yeah, dude, when they hit the top water. Wow, well, look at that slime. Hold on. <laughs> oh, he's a squeaker too. Oh, they squeak. Come on, buddy. It's just stuck in his head. Yeah. That's good. With the spook, it, that redfish I caught, it was kind of hooked in the head. It's chaotic. <sighs> Can't get it? That's not what I wanted to do. That's fun though. Tug is a drug, baby. The slime is the time. Yeah, gross. Look at this slime. All right, we gotta go to the wall. Yeah. That was definitely a not gaff top, but I mean, nuts. It's not like they're doing it a lot. Just one second. I wish you would've got sharked. That would've been sick. Yeah, you could bring that another one of my rods. As soon as I realized it was a gaff top, I was like, I hope this thing gets sharked. Yeah. Could have broken another rod. That'd have been great. <laughs> Could be sharks in the gaff top. Could be sharks. Gaff top's great shark bait. Whoa, though, dude. That was that was intense. <laughs> we were like these damn there ain't nothing but gaff oh my god you think that was a gaff top doing that no I, th I think it was either big red or tarpon or shark it was big red or tarpon or sharks 100 percent. that wake it made that was a big fish not a gaff top that was something freaking eating gaff tops or just eating this bait Got him! Big red! Big red! Oh! Big red!
big red fish on the spook. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Good one. You hit it once and missed it. Oh, good red, good red. <sighs> big red! Robert's got a big red on. <laughs> big red, big red, Charles, big red. Rob's got a big red. Yeah, I'm on my way. Oh my gosh, I saw him crashing bait. This guy's overslot for sure. Look at this thing. Oh, oh, oh. Heavy drag, ripping it out anyways. He doesn't care. Big red. Oh, there's another red with him. Oh, there's a bunch of reds right here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this fish, you guys. <laughs> on the top water, I saw the whole thing. Oh God, he's running that way and I saw this other line. Oh, uh, oh gosh. Uh, cluster, you guys, cluster. Uh, uh, oh. I don't want this to ruin my, my day here. Oh. Man, this thing is not giving up, you guys. Redfish on the topwater spook. I saw him crashing for it after he'd been chasing some bait. This is a freaking huge redfish. It's towing me all over <laughs> on topwater, no less. It's not gonna fit in my net, but we're gonna give it a shot. Oh man, look at this thing. And I saw one or maybe two other redfish swimming around him, attracted by the commotion. So there's a, there's a pod of redfish out here somewhere. I think right behind me now, he's turned around and he's pulling me this way. Sleigh ride, baby. <laughs> it's over slot, dude, it's big. On the spook, saw it crash on it. It's going in circles now. <laughs> Look at this redfish, you guys. Beautiful. Is that it out here? What? There's tailors right there. There's tail and reds. Yeah, there's big, there's redfish in here, man. I saw at least one more. This thing is huge. <sighs> it's not gonna fit in my net. Ah! Uh, I'm on, I'm on. Ah, oh, came off. Oh, you're on too? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on. Oh man, we found some fish now, ladies and gents. Phew! Dude, wait till you see it. <laughs> oh my god. Monster red, you guys. Charles is on over there. Oh yeah, baby. Screaming, dude, that's a red. Big red, baby! You got a red. Oh, I'm not gonna try to rush it. Yeah, don't rush it. Hey, look at that, guys. Definitely over slot redfish. Oh, just a monster. Absolutely crushed the spook a few times and finally got it buttoned. Nice, nice fish. Goodness gracious. <laughs> that was a battle. A little Pensacola sleigh ride here. Charles got one on too. I'm trying to get over to him. He choked it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Got him? Yeah, baby. Doubled up. Doubled up. Top water. Spook. Amazing, dude. Yeah, while I was fighting this hey. one, I saw two more. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> oh, look at that. Choked it, too. Look at that. Yeah, definitely need Sorry. Oh, yours is bigger. <sighs> <sighs> All right, guys. Beautiful red. Just gorgeous. Send it on his way. Oh, man. Look they at that. crush my fingers, these guys? 
if you go real deep, not, not there at the edge, doubled up on overslot redfish oh, on top waters. Oh, I just, I called him again. <laughs> if she's good, let her go. There went mine. Well, they're waking over there. Yeah, we, I saw him. I sight casted at it. There it went. Pew. Bro, Dude. That, that was sick. That was real sick. That's my first top water red. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, let's do it some more. They're around and they're hitting it. Let's, um, they're here, there's more. I saw one or two chasing mine while I was bringing it in. That was sick. All right, stack house. John stack out, definitely a red man. I can hear it screaming drag from here. On the top water. We Man, uh, field, oh, what happened? It pulled it? Man, it was screaming drag. It's okay, man, they're biting, like they're biting right now with this tide, so let's just keep on it. That hook right there. I can't see, let me what? Straighten the hook on there. Straighten the hook out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That sucks. Swap it out. There's more. I mean, mine, like these, this one was brand spanking new and it ripped the middle hook clean off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you know, it just it happens. I don't know. I don't know. You gotta have the drag tight enough to get them. I think once you do that, I'd back off it a little bit. I mean, it's gonna be a longer fight, but I mean, I'm just, just you know, in hindsight, based on that happening. Happened to me too, I just got lucky and still got the fish in. That was sick though, I heard the the take. This is the time, we're gonna get more chances. But this may only last like, you know, it's not gonna last forever either. Well, I'm just torn, like is it better to blind cast or keep moving and see if, you know. I had seen one further in too, I mean I think there's just a bunch of little packs of like one, two, three, fish. There's just so much water, it's hard to know where to cast until. Stack out the zone again. Dude, it's ripping drag, I mean. It's red. red? Nice! Barrel just lost a red, straightened out his hook, big one. So this one's not as big, but there it is. Second red fish of the day on for Sack House, and it looks like... Got it. Nice, bro. We spotted a few more little pops. He ran over and cast at it and got it, got it done. Man, today turned around. We were sitting in the truck, waiting out thunderstorms, debating if we should even bother. Came out, now conditions have been beautiful. Redfish are chewing, top waters. It's turned into a pretty good day. Not a bad little, you know, plan B contingency plan here. <laughs> it's definitely not as big, but it does feel like a red. So yeah, smaller red. Oh, uh, just a little guy. Oh no, it's a speckled trout. It's a speck. Speck on the spook. Speckled trout on the spook now. Not a giant. They got sharp teeth, little fangs. All right, throw him back. Just saw the reds waking out here. They moved behind us and offshore a little bit. Everyone's beelining. That's a whole pot of reds, man. You need the drone, bro. Another redfish, I saw shrimp popping out of the water a lot like I saw earlier. I didn't see the redfish, but I saw shrimp popping. And last time I saw a redfish eating that shrimp, making it pop. Oh, oh, rip and drag. Nice. 99% sure it's a red. Yep, 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 red. I just saw it. I think there's more in front of me, man. Keep coming. I've been following them. 
<sighs> nice one, dude. Another nice one. Oh, gosh. Oh, he's mad. Strong, strong fish. Go on the other side of me, dude. Look for shrimp popping. Every time I see one, I beeline for it and there's, it's reds pushing the shrimp up. You'll see like shrimp bop, 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 bop. There's a redfish there. I've been following these shrimp. Oh gosh. Right when I went to sit down, he ran. You gotta be waiting right behind this first contour. <sighs> yeah, the tide, it's been falling for like 45 minutes. The beginning of the outgoing. It's got them fired up. They're chasing these shrimp. This is the zone, man. I've been following the shrimp getting popped like right along here. They're that way. They're heading in. Oh, good fish, you guys. Another good fish on the spook. These redfish are out here hunting shrimp. And that spook pop, pop, popping imitates, imitates a lot of things, but it can imitate shrimp popping out of the water and on the surface. And I've been seeing just one shrimp hopping here and there. And I realize now that that's redfish spooking these shrimp. Golly, this thing is relentless, still pulling out drag. It's a heavy setup. And these fish just do not give up. Pulling me all over. Top water redfish, you guys. Doesn't get much better than this. So Brandon Barton, who took us out snapper fishing, he told us about this spot, told us this area can hold big reds. The conditions were not looking good for going offshore, so we were stuck here inshore. We said, all right, well, let's go for some redfish. And we're finding some redfish, and uh, I'm glad we, we diverted to plan B. It's working out pretty good. Keep your eye, it sh they should be like ahead of you, in line with me. Just look for those shrimp popping. Choked it again. And I just, I chose not to use my net. <laughs> I just did the old conservationist uh, quick, quick, little, quick release there. <laughs> That's all right. He was the same size as the other one. I didn't want to have to deal with these trebles in my net again, so I just decided to grab them and let it go. But that's okay, I can't keep that anyways, that was over slot. Let's get back on these while these things are biting here at the outgoing, beginning of the outgoing. The big reds are willing to play right now. All right, so the wind picked up a little bit. It's not slick calm anymore. And we're not really, you know, not seeing any activity on top now because it's getting choppy. We're hoping it's gonna die back down here in a bit. The forecast says it might, but for now, it's too hard to work the spook in this, in this heavy wind. So I'm switched over, got a little shrimp tied on, a little Z-Man shrimp imitation. We're gonna, we're gonna work some lures subsurface, hopefully until this wind calms back down and we get, in more, we get more shots at these redfish on top water but what a blast this has been today again the plan was tarpon that did not pan out so we came out here as a plan b couldn't have gone better really tons of fish caught already so much fun let's keep looking it ain't over yet I've got a lot of gap tops, but normally they're like stealing my cut bait off the right. bottom. These yeah. things were- I caught a few on top water, but it's always weird. Yeah. Dude, I mean, you know, they were big, they're, they fight. I mean- Yeah, they almost fight like a red. Dude, I was like, it's gotta be a redfish. Gotta be a redfish. So you feel that <laughs> Yeah, that there was a little, little weird, off. yeah. And then you see a slime going on with it. Uh, like, no! When it comes out, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, well, the wind switched. Killed the bite. We caught a few more small trout, some ladyfish, stuff like that. But nothing else killer. But such a fun day, impromptu day, going out after these redfish with Charles and Farrell. Farrell won the Fish and Paddle Saltwater Slam. He caught a 40 pound cobia in the tournament, biggest fish in tournament history. I'm out there every year for that event. That's at the end of June in Ocean City, Maryland. If you're in anywhere it, it, within a couple states away, it's worth coming out. It's such a fun event. But I'm back in Texas now, it's cold. I'm missing Florida. 
such a good time. Thank you for watching till the end. Thanks for being here. More field trips coming up. We're about to be heading up the Midwest through Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota. South Dakota is one of the cooler hidden gems in the lower 48. I did not have very high hopes for this place, but I was supposed to be there for a week. I ended up staying for a month. It was that cool. So lots more field trips coming up. We're back in the RV. We're back to moving around. It's going to be a good time. Thank you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Would love to see you back every week. Till next time, guys. I'm out. Be good, y'all. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio,